Well, good evening, everyone. Thought today I would do my uh, 8,000 mile review on my 2014 Honda CRF 250L. It's a 2014 model. I uh, well, I bought it and uh, I had a DR650 SE before I bought this bike and uh, it was a good bike. Nothing wrong with it. It wasn't a Honda. Then I bought the CRF 250L. A lot better gas mileage. And uh, of course I did the the oil change, you know, the first 600 miles oil change, and then had uh, the Honda shop check the valve adjustment, which it wasn't, it was fine. And uh, I've done all the regular service on it, changed the air filter. Air filter at 5,000 miles was getting pretty dirty, but I ride some dirt roads and stuff, so got it changed. I've done the oil change at six. Uh, 600 miles then I done the, the next one at 2,000 and every 2,000 cents the book tells you do it every 8,000 miles but oil's cheap so I'll do it every 2,000 miles change my oil filter every 4,000 miles I use uh, castor oil 10w40 in it and uh, everything seems to be great I'm perfectly happy with the bike I'm perfectly happy with the power, the handling, uh, the suspension's fine. I don't, I don't do no motocross on it. We run a lot of, we run a lot of trails on it. Mark Twain National Forest. And we go back roading here in Southwest Missouri and down through Northwest Arkansas and uh, dirt roads and you know a lot of roads like this here. And uh, it's great. Uh, I, I ride it every single day to work, back and forth to work, even in the winter, unless there's ice or snow on where I couldn't, but otherwise, even in the cold, 10 degrees, I'm riding my bike. But uh, you could see the 8,089 miles. Actually, when I get home, I'm going to do my 8,000 mile oil change. I, uh, I replaced the first, the stock tires at uh, 5,300 miles, 5,300, and the back tire was pretty warm. Front tire was actually still good and usable to me. Uh, I put on some uh, of these, I'm trying to think of the name now. Oh, the Michelin T63s, that's what they are. I put on some Michelin T63s, and I am, I've not been happy with them, really. I mean, they when they was brand new, they seem to do pretty good. I was going to show you here, but they have wore fast. I've got uh, 2,700 miles on these tires. If you look at the back ones, how far they are wore down, which is a bunch. Even the front tires, and that's running the proper air pressure, but they still don't wear right. These things are cupping out. They're just they're not near as good as the stock tires as far as wear, but you can't expect that because they're more off-road than the stock tires. Uh, I did put on the FMF Q4 exhaust, or just actually just the slip-on. I didn't do the head pipe. I don't want the head pipe because I don't want to do the EJK or none of that. don't want to do the airbox mod. Pretty much stock. Um, like I say, the power is fine. I went yesterday, or Saturday, me and my son, my wife rode on here with me, both of us, so on this bike, we went down through Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and uh, through Roan River, and it does just fine. Yeah, it's not got as much power as it could have when it's pulling two people, but it's, it's not bad. It, uh, it still pulls us just fine. Actually, up the big hill of Ruin River, I was gaining speed as I went up the hill, so it's not like it's, to me, it's not underpowered. Uh, I've never had an ounce of problem with anything on it. it. It's all been flawless. 
the last review I did, the guy, somebody said, well, you're doing more of a review on your accessories than you are on a motorcycle. So this time, I'm trying to make sure I do more of a review on the bike. You know, uh, is, that way people won't think I'm trying to do a review on the accessories that I put on it. I did put some things on it. I put a Corbin seat on it. Some turns out to market turn signals, LEDs. I put uh, uh, the FMF Q4. I'm not doing a review on that stuff. I'm just saying that's what I did. Put these hand guards on. But other than that, this thing is stock. Suspension stock. If you're looking for a good bike, uh, I've never had the problem. 8,000 miles, I've never had a noise in the motor. I keep the oil changed 2,000 miles. And the TRF 250L is well worth the price tag. You know, 4,000 to 4,500. That's what they are around here. 39.99 here in Springfield, Missouri at uh, Honda of the Ozarks. Where about this one? Out the door, I think they said it was 40. $7.99 out the door. So for that price, for a dual sport and a good commuter back and forth to work, it just can't be beat. Because the bike performs flawless and I ride aggressive once in a while off-road. And you don't you don't jump a lot because the suspension ain't great for jumping, but as far as trail riding and stuff, it's it's a very good bike, good, very good choice. Uh, low maintenance. I like the pipe on it now because it got a little better sound to it. But hey, thanks for you guys watching my videos. Please stick, click on subscribe. Uh, I've got a lot of other videos I've got to put together and get them uploaded, but I want to do this one now. The 8,000 mile review of my 2014 Honda CRF 250L. So, hey, click on subscribe, click like on the videos. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.